So in this video, we're going to continue on what we were doing in the last video. And basically, I gave you the mass of an electron, the mass of a proton, the charge on an electron, the charge on a proton. And we're saying that a hydrogen atom is approximately uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 10th meters across. And so very, very roughly, um, we're looking at the electrical force between, so here we've got electric force and have and here we have gravitational force and so I'm just gonna plug in some numbers kind of running out of space over there. Remember to square the bottom. So I'm going to plug this in all as one shot on my calculator. So I'm going to go 6.67 second EE negative 11 times 9.11 second EE negative 31 times 1.67 second EE negative 27 divided by 1 second EE negative 10 and square that and I get 1 times 10 to the negative 47th newtons. which is not surprising because this is a very small mass and that's a very small mass and there is very 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 little um, there is very little gravitational force between an electron and a proton and so I go over here and I remember my K is my Coulomb's constant is 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared well, that's kilogram squared, I'm sorry. Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. And then we've got negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. Positive 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. All over the same thing. 1 times 10 to the negative 10th meters squared. And so I'm going to get... Nine, hang on, nine second EE nine times negative one point six second EE negative nineteenth times one point six second EE negative nineteenth divided by one second EE negative ten square it and I get negative two point three times 10 to the negative 8th uh, newtons. And that's also a very, very small force. But that's the force electric. So, but if you look in this situation, force electric divided by force gravity, divide that number by 1 second EE negative 47 it's like okay so in this example problem the electrical force between an electron and a proton in a hydrogen atom is like 39 zeros more it's like it's 39 orders of magnitude. We don't even have a number for that. That's just huge. It's a 1 with 39 zeros after it. So the, f so the electrical force is enormous compared to the gravitational force. 
Okay, so what I have just done is I have found um, the electrical force between two charges and I gave an example of that in parallel with gravitational and so then but then what we really want to do is we want to start thinking about these in terms of vectors and we want to use the electrical force to allow us to expand what we know about vectors so in the next video we're going to talk about um, what if we had three charges what would be the total force between those three charges okay so I'm not going to squeeze that in. Uh, we're going to do that as a separate video.